Like little hot dogs on sticks. Hey Bum Pushers, my name is Nick and this is Welcome to Elk. The way I understand it, this is this is a game of stories, real stories told by real people, reimagined in this amazing cartoon style. I think that's what this game is. There was there was a demo for this release during the Steam Summer sale. Oh, no, that's not right. The Steam Summer event, whatever it was, and I didn't get a chance to play it. It was on my list, but I never got around to playing it. But, thankfully, the team behind the game sent me a code, so thank you very much to them for that, because I'm very excited to play this. So, let's see what Elk has in store for us. I just brought him to Anders, and it was sent him to die three times. Anders, he was born and grew up on a road called Pine Road, in Skåne, and there he went into Elk every day. How do you die three times? That's impressive. Act one. The art style looks... It looks so beautiful. Oh, look at this. It's gorgeous. Well... Here we are, missus. I love the way they move. Elk Island. Oh, we're finally here. Thank you, Hepe. Jepe? Hepe? Say Hepe. I think that's right. Oh, and again. You can just call me Frig. With pleasure, Miss Frig. So, I just need a moment to get these air supplies off the ship. Now I'll show you your way. Howdy. Just saw the ferry coming in. Good to see you well, Hepe. And you must be Frick. we well, seeing you too, Jan. Right then. Guess I'll get cracking on this, with this cargo. <laughs> what the fuck is that accent? Jan? Ah, oh, it's so nice to finally meet you. My dad's told me so much about you. Nice to meet you too, Frick. Why don't we walk on and talk? Everyone's waiting at the hermit bar for you. Hepe, you okay loading everything onto the trailer? Hey, no problem, Jan. Oh, but I mean, I'm fine to carry my own bag. Don't worry, Miss Frig. I'll bring your bag with the shipment I'm carrying. It ain't nothing. Oh, um, okay, sure. Thanks again, Happy. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> that was the cutest seal. Let's do it again. <laughs> Love it. Wait, someone just left the drawing of a life ring here. Pretty sure that wouldn't help me if I was drowning. Pretty sure. <laughs> I love this. I love that everything in colour you can interact with. That's really neat. Look at the way they move, it's so cool. First things first, let me point out where we're going to be working together. This is my workshop. Wow. It looks so big. Can't wait to get started. <laughs> That's good to hear. But we'll leave that till tomorrow. Just want you to try and get your bearings. Okay, consider it etched into my brain. Great, let's keep moving. Whoa, is that the boat you're building? Sure is. Bit of a passion project of mine. It's got to be quite special when it's done. It looks great already. Oh well, thank you. Oh, I wish I walked like this. So anyway, how was your pa? Hey, he's good. Busy. Work keeps him busy. So he ain't changed a bit then. Yeah, he seems to enjoy it though. He loves telling stories of when the two of you work together. And he said I wouldn't find a better carpenter to study under. Ha! <laughs> he did, did he? Well, alright then. Guess we'll see. You sure are some fresh fish. Let's go. Ooh, octopi. Oh, that squid is holding a knife. Yeah, I'm not getting any closer. No one wants a stabby squid. What is this? Is that a whale skull? 
a hermit. Here we are. But before we go in, I should tell you, you've arrived during our yearly celebration of Mr. Nolan, or the Old Brewer, as we call him. He, um, left quite an impression on this island. Oh, so it's not a happy celebration? Well, the man certainly robbed people the wrong way. <laughs> but we still try and have some fun with it. You see, the old brewer liked his lobster. So to celebrate, we all eat lobster and drink beer. But it's easier to show than tell. Come on, let's head on in. First I'm going hit. Ah, cool, a vending machine. Oh god! What? Should I be concerned about the human hand that just came in? Who's the cutest little guy? Are we just, are we just not going to talk about the human hand that just came out of that vending machine? Okay. Come on, Hefe, let's go. This wrong person. People. Will Mr. Nolan show up for his party? For the last time, Anders, he's dead. But aren't we all... Hi there. <gasps> Mum, look at her hair. Shh, Freddy. Hi there, love. You must be Frick. Ingrid said we were getting a new guest. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, it's, it's actually Frigg. But nice to meet you all. Angle Hepe is here. I was wondering where you were getting to. Hi there, girls. It's nice to see you. I'm going to stop with the accents, because it's not going to work. Hi, Mr. Anders. This is Frick. I dropped your bag off at the house you're staying at. Oh, wow. Well, thank you again, Hepe. That's nothing, Mrs. Come here, you. Let me get you a drink. Ah, this must be her. How you doing, Frigg? I'm Ingrid. So nice to finally meet you. It was really kind of you both to take me in. Ah, well, it's our pleasure. It's well to finally meet Morton's daughter. I won't lie to you. Living on this island ain't no picnic. But all the same, we're more than happy to have you here. Thanks. I'm excited to be here. <laughs> Next round, please, Bobby. Sue, hun. Don't you want to pace yourself a little? You know, where's the fun in that? Plus, you know, you love it when I'm tipsy. Hi. Sorry, am I interrupting? I'm Frigg. Oh, not at all, hun. It's a pleasure. Oh, aren't you a sight for these old eyes? Come on, they ain't old. <laughs> My name's <laughs> Sue. And I'm Bobby. I only run the bar here on these rocks. How about I get you a drink? No, oh, thanks. Um, can I have a beer? Good choice, son. Why don't you go and mingle and I'll pour it for you. Thank you. Uh-oh. Looks like we got a stranger in town. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Clara, the island sheriff. And I'm Martin, the island nurse. Come on, Martin. Tell her. You ain't just a nurse. You're a real doctor. But I'm not a real doctor. Martin. <sighs> Technically... I'm the island's doctor. By process of elimination. Oh, cool. Well, uh, my mum's a nurse. Oh, and my name's Frigg. Nice to meet you, Frigg. Likewise. Just make sure you uh, stay out of trouble, yeah? Oh, wow. Smooth, Clara. <sighs> it does warm me to see us celebrating my pappy like this. Oh, I thought everyone hated the bastard. What? How preposterous. Yeah, I mean, didn't you, like, close down his brewery? Well, um... No, uh, well, look, a new face. Hello there, my girl. Come introduce yourself. My name's Mr. Bo. Hi. Wait, another mister? Like, Mr. Nolan? The guy whose party this is for? Indeed, he was my lad pappy. You gotta keep talking dead people or you're gonna introduce us. Oh, she's very pregnant. Oh, of course. Where are my manners? Frigg, allow me to introduce my house guests. Marge? Yep. And Victor? Babe, you're supposed to say something. Oh, I ain't no good at this shit. Uh, hi. Hello. Um, hi to both of you. Okay, I'm tired of this yakking. Me and this baby bump are thirsty. Ah, yes, yes, of course. My deepest apologies. I should get us drinks. 
Um, perhaps we could talk another time, my girl. Oh, well, yeah, sure, no problem. They were an interesting group. Okay, everyone. You all know what time it is. Time to play the old brewer for the brewer bastard. Hey, come on now. We really need that language. Ingrid, don't you start defending that man in my bar. Ahem. <coughs> If I may kindly interject, as the offspring of my dear departed pappy, I wish to say I do enjoy these traditional drinking games. Therefore, I give approval on his behalf. <laughs> See, there we have it. Okay, new girl, frog. Come on, you're up. Um, I'm not sure what I have to do. But sure, sounds fun. Okay, <laughs> what's happening? Okay, frog, you ready? Um, it's freak. And what do I do? Haha, <laughs> just copy me! Okay. Wee! Busting the splits out. Nice. Okay, for someone so inebriated, Sue has got some balance. Okay, looks like you get it. I'm gonna start getting tricky. Bring it on. Oh no! Wrong drink. Well, oh. that was that was sneaky. Okay, what you got? <laughs> Remember, do as I say, not as I do. Yep, got it. Ah, clever. Nice. Last round, try and keep up. Got it. <laughs> How do you have so much energy? Nope. Oh, you stop trying to trick me! No! Damn it! Bottoms up! Well done, frog! Evening, fuckheads! Mum! Well, well. Who the fuck is this? Ah, Leroy, my, Leroy, my boy. Nice of you to join the celebrations with us. Hmm, looks like he's been doing some celebrating on his own. Shut it. You know I'd rather drink my own piss than the shite you serve here. Victor, who's this girl? Um, hi, my name's... Shh! Quiet there, my pal. Let's not rush things with that pretty mouth of yours. Um, she's just some girl helping out Jan, Leroy. Is that right? Well, maybe she could help me out instead. Fuck knows I'm needing it. Um, how about a cool beer instead, Leroy? I thought I said shut the fuck up. Can't you see I'm trying to be fucking charming here to my new special friend? Oh, hey... Oh, I, um, excuse me, but Frog here was my new special friend first. Sue, so, quiet down, it's dangerous. Ha, huh, cute. But seriously, fuck off, would ya? Me and Petal here are going to find a nice, quiet place to get to know one another. I said she was my friend first. <laughs> what do you think that piddly glass is going to hurt me? Glass can hurt. Hmm. Sue! What? what? Sue! You okay, hon? <laughs> so? What do you know? It doesn't hurt. 
Oh my lord, Sue! <laughs> that was great! Again, again! What the? Oh, I'm done with this shite. Victor, Marge, let's get the fuck away from these weirdos. That means you too, Bowman. Me? Well, alright, um, yes, of course. Uh, lovely celebrations, everyone. Well, me again, Petal. Don't you fucking worry. Good riddance. Let's all have another drink to wash out that bad taste. I'm, um, just gonna get a bit of fresh air quickly. Poor thing. That man is the absolute worst. I better go check on her. That was, um, that was quite brutal. Hyfrig, I'm, I'm so sorry for all of that. Not exactly the best first impression. We have our fair share of problems here on hold. And Leroy, he's one of the worst. I, I won't lie, he did make me feel uncomfortable. But, but I'm fine, I think. Everyone else seemed really nice. But maybe, maybe I'll call it a night. Well, I wouldn't blame you. I better give you this map to help you get around then. There's a house all ready for you. Doors unlocked, so just settle in and make yourself at home. Oh, that sounds great. Um, sure you can manage? You seem a little drunk. Ah, no, don't worry. I got this. I want you to know I can handle myself. Man, all right then. Guess I'll see you tomorrow. Better go back inside and see what's happening. It's nice to have you here, Frig. <laughs> oh, wow. I guess I am a little drunk. I uh, think I can see shrimp. Right. Then. Let's have a look at this map. Easy. Okay. So I need to go up past the whale head. We know where that is. Keep going up past the plane to the right. I'll be at the house in no time. Whoa. <laughs> they got a big smile. Ah. God, it's really hard to control. Okay, I'm going up. Oh, these houses are on sticks. Like hot dogs. <laughs> like little hot dogs on sticks. <laughs> Stop veering. Mm, I feel maybe... I should go this way. Oh, hey! Hey! It's a little red flame! Wait, is it red? <laughs> okay, you're right. It's blue. Okay. Nope, I'm going this way. I was right before. I'm guessing this is the house. Hey, look! It's a house! Is this my house? This is our house. This must be home. I oh, don't even care. So drunk and tired. Oh, working. Oh, tomorrow. Is my bed up here? Yes. Oh, that bed looks so good. Huh? I'm, I'm on a boat, but I only just got here. And who's that? Hi, Frig. What? Wait, I know you. We're at the bar, but aren't we still at the bar? Oh, sure, Frig, we can be at the bar. Oh, yeah. See, I knew we were at the bar. Right. Oh, hey. Hey, it's you again. Hi, Frick. You were the weird guy at the bar and on the boat. Crapper, wait, I mean, you're not weird. I just mean that you look weird. I mean, so let's talk later. The Mr. Guy. Hi, Frick. You were funny. Not that it's bad to be funny. Wait, well, if it's bad, then it is bad. But I don't mean that you're bad. Unless you are bad. 
Thank you, freak. Oh my gosh, sorry. I, I don't think you're bad. Oh, now you're going to think I'm bad, but I'm not bad. I'm just going to go. I'm sorry. Hi there. Hi, freak. It's so kind of you to let me stay, and even though you're like old, I'm sure we can be friends, right? I, I mean, I'm not saying you're old, it's just that you are. Thank you, Freak. Um, however, if, if you were old, there's nothing wrong with being old, right? Um, what I mean is, I'm, I'm just gonna go stand over there. Oh, this is the worst. I'm the worst. Oh, Freak. Ooh, my head. Did I really say all that last night? Oh. Okay, time for a palette cleanser. I'm sure I'll feel better once I unpack a little. Oh, look how cute this fire is. I wish it wasn't so crap at heating up this house, though. Oh, that is a cute fire. The build a house, talk, eat, kiss, and die game. From the makers of same same but different. I know it's silly, but I can't help but carry this game everywhere I go. Maybe I'll get lucky and find a computer to play on. <laughs> Guess I'll have it die hard. Okay, so what should I unpack next? Robo Troll! Robo Troll was sent from the future to live under bridges and rock out. Becky Block Blaster was one of my first limited edition toys, both playful and deadly. Dino Detective, getting straight A's while still finding time to take a bite out of crime. Mutant <laughs> Turtle Bear Mechanic, always letting me know I can be whatever I want to be. I think Dino Detective. Me and Dino Detective are going to investigate this island, one chomp per time. This game is amazing. Oh, looks like a fridge full of elk delicacies. Mm, yum. Picked up this on the day me and mum walked around Dry Haven. On a warm, lush autumn day. No idea why this cat is stuck in toast, but it's so cute. Isla got it for me and I just love it. Cat toast. In honour of Isla, I will award you this prized spot, little toasty cat. I hope I make new friends here. It'll be hard being away from home. Oh, I love this cartoon. Still can't believe they cancelled it. I hope it gets renewed somehow. Pet, pet Society. I worship this band. I know they're still pretty unknown, but one day they're going to be huge. Ah, do Left Behind. Always got to respect the cartoon classics. Oh, that episode where Trig ingests a solar system still cracks me up. Oh, oh, that's better. Although, real crapper, I can't see any internet. I can ask Jan about that later. I should really head down to his workshop anyway. Still feel pretty rough, though. Okay, let's go. Hey, someone here's a really good painter. This looks like it's from something really cool. Kind of scary. Right. Oh my god. Was that me? Oh, that's horrible. It smells so bad. I really hope it disappears before someone sees it. Yeah, you were. You were not in a good way, buddy. This plane has a bug written on it. No, I guess we know where it fell from, though. I, I, I am in love with this game. I truly am. Is this their national flag? I sincerely hope it is. Okay, workshop. Ahoy, hoy. Obviously, I'm on top of the situation. Hmm. All right then. If you need a hand, you just let me know. That man is definitely nothing but trouble. Oh, 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 I'm going to get assume they're talking about Leroy. Anyway, I'll get this stall fixed up for you. Well, that is just fantastic. You really do have a magic touch, Jam. In that case, I'll leave you to it. Besides, looks like you have a visitor. Morning. Sorry if I'm a little late. Ah, no apologies necessary. Last night must have been a lot to take in. You got home okay? <laughs> From the trail of stomach shrimp she left, I would say she got home okay. Oh, no. You saw it. I am so sorry. It was hard to miss. It looked like you were trying to paint the whole island. But no, don't worry. We'll take care of it. You're our new guest, after all. 
Maybe think to bring a bucket with you next time. Oh, crap. It won't happen again, I swear. <laughs> well, we got a good laugh out of it. So did the whole town. Anyway, I'll be going, Jan. Thanks again. Mm-hmm. Um, this workshop is amazing, Jan. There's so much to look at. Very kind of you to say. So, listen, I know you'll be eager to get started today, but I think you'd better be having a day to get accustomed to your new home. Take the time to wander around, explore the island. Oh, really? I was kind of hoping to get stuck in. I'd be happy to help you with that boat outside. It looks stunning. <laughs> well, don't worry. It's not going anywhere fast. Trust me. Take the day for yourself. Talk to some people. Mm, okay, sure, I guess. Only because you're insisting. But I'm going to work twice as hard tomorrow. I'm looking forward to it. But for now, enjoy yourself. I'm going to see to some things, but I'll see you later. Eep. I want to sli slice the tip of my finger off on a circular saw. Just probably keep that to myself and not tell Gan. Okay. So much for getting stuck in on my first day. Bah. I'd much rather help out on his autumn boat. Although, I guess it is nice to take it easy with this hangover. What was that rustling? Is someone following me? Hello? Oh, Leroy, please don't jump out of a bush and... Be horrible. Okay, it definitely feels like someone's following me. Oh, what was that gross guy from last night? Oh, shit. Just try and stay calm. Shit. Hmm. Maybe I'm just imagining things. Ah! Oh, sorry. So sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Ghosts can be scary, I know. Um, uh, yeah, you kind of did scare me. Um, when you were at the bar last night, we didn't really get to... Wait, did you just say ghosts? Ah, <laughs> yeah, it makes sense because you're new. Always happens to be the new ones. I'm sorry to tell you this, but we're dead. Sorry, what? Trust me, I, I know all about dying. I nearly died a hundred times, maybe more. So when I say we're dead now, I mean it. Because you never forget the day you actually do, you know, die. Let me explain. You see, I used to work as a fisherman. I'm sure I was a pretty good one too. But one night, out at sea, something was wrong. I could feel it in my bones. The clouds darkened and the water jumped and smashed me with one big mighty punch. I felt the wet all around me, inside and out. I knew that finally this time, I would be dead for sure. True enough, when I opened my eyes, here I was. I'd arrived in the afterlife. Elk. Um... I guess I can see why you would think that. Yes, exactly. Now you get it. But that isn't all. I need your help, Freak. Please, follow me. Okay, let's follow the crazy person. Where are you taking me? Such a sneaky way to hide beer. I don't know why I thought that was necessary. Wait. Anders, why did you just bring me to a cave? This is my home. Come on in. Okay, Anders, you, you're troubling me, buddy. Wow, this actually seems really cosy. And oh my god, you have a rabbit. Oh yes, that's Klumben. She's my best friend. She's so cute. Ah oh, yes, Klumben is the best. But for the reason I brought you here, Frigg, I wanted to talk to you about my parents. Um, okay. Has this got anything to do with you thinking you're dead? We're all dead here, Frigg. Um, of course. I didn't mean to be rude. Please continue. Well, you see... I never knew my parents. They died when I was really young. Which must mean they're here in the afterlife too. But I still can't find them. Maybe if I could remember what they look like. I'd be sure to know it was them when I see them. Okay, that sounds logical. So, what's the plan? Well, I've collected these funny people papers. I think they can help me. They'll help me find mum and dad. Uh, huh? So, where do I come in? Well, I thought, since you have a mum and dad, you'll know what parents are supposed to look like. Which means you'll know what mine should look like. Um, well, um, 
I guess I can give it a shot. Oh my god. I bet my dad looks really beautiful, like a famous singer. Okay. Let's give him a mustachio. And this snuggles. Um, but I feel we should do we should do some glasses. So here and here. They're a little mismatched, but it's all good. It's all good. Just boop the seal of approval when you're done. Seal of approval. I love that so much. And my mum is someone really important, like a ship captain or a banker. Okay. Let's give her a mouth because she's... Oh no. Let's give her a nice smile. Um, and big eyes. No, no, it's not good. This eye. There we go. Um, and... Ooh, how about a little button nose? Ooh. Amazing frig. Amazing frig. This must be what they look like. Let me just put them up here. Oh, good lord. Wow. They totally don't look creepy. Oh, thanks to you, frig. I'm sure to find my parents now. I know. Let me get you a drink as thanks. Okay, sure, that sounds fun. I think one of those faces just winked at me. <laughs> Plumber is too cute. <laughs> oh, I got an achievement. Look at that adorable dog. I wonder if that's one of the uh, the team's dogs. So, Frig, how did you die? Um, I didn't, Anders. How's it singing, Larry? Very finny, Frig. Right then. That should do it. Finally. Get this ear old tinker working again. Good job there, Hepe. Knew you'd get it working. Oh yay! The music box is working. Hello. Well, aren't you two just in time? We're needing an extra pair of lungs. Whoa. Is that a karaoke machine? Oh, you betcha it is. My Hepe loves it when I sing, don't you? Beth has the voice of a hundred sparrows, she does, Miss Frigg. Actually, I wouldn't mind hearing a tune now, my darling. Hold up. I better get this little lady back two hours for her sleepover then. Let the grown ups do their thing. Oh, but I want to hear the singing. Hey now, sweetie. Remember I said you would be with Jan and Ingrid tonight? You get going, and me and you can sing duets tomorrow. Promise. Okay, if you promise. Night, y'all. Don't daddle on the way home. Weather's looking nasty. So, how about a new girl? Do you want me for the next song? Go ahead, Frig. I'll get us a beer. Uh, okay, sure. No laughing at my singing, though. <laughs> okay, Frig. Let's see what you got. Okay, what do I do? What do I do? Wow, that's a pretty voice you got. This is so cool. <laughs> Love this so much. That was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that a lot. Bravo, you two. 
You got quite a voice on you there, Frig. <laughs> hey, that was fun. Oh, thanks. I got to agree. You sound pretty good together. You enjoyed that, Pepe, my dear? You go surely warmed this era of mine. Okay, everyone. I'm going to start closing down. Any of you still need a drink? Nah, uh, not for me, thanks. I need to go feed Glumbin. Frig, thank you again for today. Go on then, Miss Bobby. Be good to have one last beer before I'm back out on the waters tomorrow. Hey, you. Remember not to get too carried away. Not unless you want to spend the night on your own. Oh, don't you worry. Just one more for the road. Hmm, okay, fine. In that case, I'll walk back with this little lady. And get ready for you. Okay, darling? <laughs> right you are. I'll soon be following. Right then. Gam on you. You coming? Sure. As long as I'm not a bother. You, a bother? Ah. Like as if I didn't already know what a real problem looks like. Come on then, let's get a shake on. No, Bobby. No, Hans. Walk back safe, stay warm. From the looks of it, we're getting one of those cold blasts coming in. I think it's going to be a nasty one. Wow. Spit kiss pinball. Ugh. I just had I just said that out loud and Whoa, Beth, look, it's snowing. That's adorable. But and look, this isn't to be a downer, but snow is pretty common around here. <laughs> right. Sorry, it's just we don't get a lot of snow in Copenhagen. So um anyways, Pepe your boyfriend. <laughs> no. I mean the man is a sweetheart, don't get me wrong, but no, he's my how do I put it? He's my client. Oh, um... What are you stumbling for? Look, it may not sound glamorous, especially to a city girl, I'm sure. All you need to know is Hepe, he's a good man. He makes my life easier for me and my girl. God knows that Freddy likes having him around, even if she doesn't understand the arrangement. He's good to her when he doesn't need to be, and I'm really grateful for that. He seems really nice. He is. I just hope Freddy doesn't forget about her daddy, George. He was a great man. Trust me, sweetie. We haven't always had it easy. I'm sorry to hear that. Now, well, who knows? Maybe I'll tell you about it one day. But no. No need to be sorry. You see the smile on my face? I've got plenty to smile about. Anyway, I'm freezing. We should probably get heading our separate ways. Thanks for being so welcome, Beth. I enjoyed the singing. You really do have a beautiful voice. Ah, oh, you're sweet. I'll invite you around for some squirrel stew with me and Freddy sometime. But you get home and wrap up. Bobby wasn't kidding about the cold coming in. This snow ain't a joke. Okay, thanks again, Beth. Did she say squirrel stew? <laughs> Maybe I'm hearing things. I should head to bed. Okay. Let's go. Bed time. Oh, I'm exhausted now. Oh, wow. I thought the snow looked harmless, but this storm's really picking up. Luckily, I'm indoors all dry and warm. Good night, Frig. I'm going to have more weird dreams. Yep. Freddy? What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be at Jan and Ingrid's? No way! I'm going to go and see my daddy. Oh, really? Well, yeah, I guess that's great. Hey, Frig. Hi, Anders. So glad you're joining me and Freddy on our trip. Um, where exactly are we going? We're going to go meet my parents. Oh, wow, you found them. Yes, thanks to your help, Frig. Um, I'm glad I could help. Are you excited to see your parents too, Frig? Wait, my parents? Yes, silly. Don't you miss your mum and dad? Yeah, of course I do. I've never been this far away from them before. Or for this long. Don't worry, Frig. That's where we're all going. We both know how you feel. I've always missed my parents. I would usually dream of them while I was out fishing. My daddy used to take me fishing all the time. He would let me help to catch the biggest fish for dinner. I really miss those days. Oh. Well, I've never fished with my dad, but we do play chess together. I like it. It feels like our special thing, you know? Sure, Frig. Sounds nice. I'm sure he'll be happy to hear that when we arrive. We can all tell them how much we miss them. They're going to be so happy to see us. That seems ominous. Whoa. That beer is seriously giving me some insane dreams. That one made my head hurt. Oh, it looks freezing outside. 
Guess this is what they meant by a coal blast. So happy I bought these merino yarn leggings. Okay. Oh, I don't remember these bottles being here. Maybe it's some sort of island tradition. Sue, George, and the Vikings. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is um, when Anders died. Basically, Anders is a radio, like, obviously. But the sheriff found him kind of by the side of the road, non responsive, no pulse, assumed he was dead, took him to the morgue. But then. <laughs> A few years later, the sheriff drove past the same spot to see him lying in the exact same position. And again, no pulse. Yeah. And while they were driving to the morgue the second time, he sat up. Like, Where the fuck am I? So this story is about Sue, who smashed the bar on her head. George and the bikers. So Sue and George are at the bar playing cards. The bar's busy, a group of bikers come in looking for trouble. They start confronting Sue and George. Sue smashes a bottle in her head, like she did before. So she's obviously, that that's her trick. Interesting. Whoa. Someone wrote some kind of story about what happened the other night. Uh, weird, but kind of cool. Well, I've got two achievements for that. Nice. Wow. Oh, it all looks so different. What's up here? The manor. Okay. That might be something to do later. Oh, it's so pretty. I love snow. I love snow until it snows, and then I get annoyed by the fact that it's snowing. It's, it's the British way. Morning there, Frig. Getting some of that cold, fresh air in, are you? Hi, oh, yeah, wow. Fresh is one way of putting it. <laughs> well, you get used to it soon enough. Actually, it's good I bummed into you. Jan's out running an errand right now, so why don't you keep me company? It's my morning off and I want a nice thick coffee at the Hermit. Oh, well, yeah, that sounds lovely, sure. Am I ever going to do any work? Honey, let's get you out of this cold. Morning, Bobby. Let's do your strongest coffees, please. Already on the stove, hon. You two managed to keep warm, then. Standing on that pier all day with the wind howling. Pfft. It's cold as like a tickle. <laughs> we ain't all born of the sea like you are, Ingrid. What about you, Frig? I won't lie, it's gonna take some getting used to. But wow, the snow sure is pretty though. <laughs> I'll hold you to that, hun. Has anyone seen Hepe? Beth, you okay? Where's your coat? You're shaking, hun. You must be freezing. I don't understand. He didn't he didn't come home last night. Okay, take a deep breath. Bobby, can you bring Beth some coffee? Frig, come on. Me and you will go take a look. No man should be sitting out in this weather. I'm coming too. Beth, hun, you're catching a cold. I ain't sitting still. He's in trouble, I know it. Okay, I'll get you, hun. I'll stay here and let the others know, and just in case he shows up. Thanks. Oh, happy. Okay, we got to find him. I can't lose him. Come on, then. Let's get moving. The quicker, the better. Oh, happy. What's going on? Pepe's boat is still in the dock and I can't find the tractor. Pepe's missing. Did you show up at Beth's last night after drinking? This doesn't sound good. Okay, let's get looking. Wait! Jam, where's Freddy? Don't you worry, she's out in the snow with Sue. She's safe, I promise. Okay, okay, good. Thanks. God, okay, let's go. Let's spread out and look. Okay, I'm gonna have a little looky over here. As they're all heading that way. Nope. Okay, I did. They mentioned the track that I did see some tire marks. Yeah. This looks like um car tracks. That'll be the track, all right. Where's it gone to? Uh, I think I saw some more over here. Yeah. Follow the tracks. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, Hepe, is he? He's not. Oh, the same right. Poor drunken fool. Hepe! Hepe, wake up, my Hepe! Hepe! Oh, I'm sorry, Beth. I'm so sorry, my sweet. Maybe the Martin boy could 
No. No, there's no need. Nothing a doctor can do now. Bless his soul, but there ain't nothing any of us can do for him. At least it was peaceful. He must have gone in a drunken sleep. No. No, come on. There must be something we can do, right? He can't be. He's not dead. I saw him just last night. No, Ingrid's right. God damn fool. My Hepe. My poor, poor Hepe. I'm sorry, Beth. I really am. I can't imagine how upsetting this is. We've all known Hepe for so many years and my heart is breaking. Come on. Let's go get Freddy. No good will come from staring. It's not fair. I know, my love. I know. Let me walk you away from here. Mm -hmm. We'll help here and come by after. Thank you both. We'll see you later. I'm really sorry to ask this of you, Frigg. But to live out on these harsh rocks on the sea, it's a tough life. And right now is the moment we've got to focus on doing what's right. can't believe this is happening. We'll take it one step at a time. There's a lot of emotions going on right now. But for now, we just focus on the practical. We'll do it together. I don't, I, I don't understand. We're just going to focus on what we need to do first, which is helping move the body. See that sled over there? Let's carry him onto that so he's easier to move. I know it's a lot, but you think you can manage it? Um, okay, yeah, I think so. I mean, of course, yeah. Whatever I can do. Let's just close his eyes. Good. Now let's pick him up. Make sure you got a firm grip under his head. One, two, three, and up. Got him? Okay, good. You now just keep holding him like this as you walk forward towards me. Oh, Hepe. That's it for it. You're doing great. Just a little further. Oh, what a horrible thing to have to do. This is so sad. Frig. Frig, you okay? We can put him down now. That's it. Thank you, Frig. I know that wasn't easy for either of us. I'll handle it from here. I'll push her to Clara. Then I'll go talk to Beth. Poor girls, the both of them. As if they hadn't been through enough. I feel so helpless. They're so strong. They'll get through this. We all will. We always do. I wish I could do more. You've done so much, Frig. Best thing is to go home and rest. We'll talk soon, I promise. Okay, I will. Thanks, John. I'll see you soon, and I hope that's going to be okay. Whew. Well, today took a turn. Poor Hepe. If I am pronouncing that wrong, and anyone knows I'm pronouncing it wrong, please tell me how to pronounce it, because I don't want to get it wrong. Ooh, hello, strange man. Hi there, Frick. Jamen, jeg vil fortælle historien om, om den gang, jeg faldt en mand, som var hosset i øvrigt. Det er mange år siden. Jeg var ung tømmer og havde taget arbejde op i en, en lille by langt nord herfra. Og øhm, jeg kan tydeligt huske, det var en mandag morgen, hvor min makker Jeppe og jeg vi mødtes som sædvanligt og tog vores lille ladbil ud til værkstedet, som var den sidste bygning ud mod Ødemarken. Og vi gjorde det, det så vanligt. Og mandagen, der rydde vi altid op på værkstederne og kørte affaldet over på dumpen, som jo egentlig bare er en losseplads, hvor man graver et stort hul i jorden og smider alle affaldet ned og dækker det til igen. På vejen hjem er det så småt begyndt at blive lyst. Og da vi kører over broen på smeltevandshjælpen, så opdager jeg, 
Jeppe, som jo var langsynet, at øh, der var en bil, der var en lille bil, der var kørt ned af børnenes kælkebakke, og der lå en mand på jorden udefor, eller i isen. Og vi skynder os at køre derhen, og løber op ad bakken. Vi tror, at ulykken lige er sket. Og så vender vi manden om, og så får vi et chok, fordi at, øh, hans øjne de er sådan karakaleret lidt som knust glas. Han har to sådan røde hugtænder ud af munden, fordi han har slået munden, og det har blødt. Det er så frosset, så, fordi det var meget koldt den nat. Det frøs 38 grader. Og samtidig var hans skjorte øh, stod sådan åben. Han var rigtig dårligt klædt på. Og så vi rev noget af hans maveskin af, da vi vendte ham om. Det var simpelthen frosset fast i isen. Så vi var meget chokeret og forskrækket, og Jeppe sagde, at han er, han er færdig, ham der, han er død. Øh, vi skyndte os at ringe efter en lægeambulance, og derefter satte vi os ind i kaffestuen i vores håndværkerbrak, som vi lå lige ved siden af, for lige at sunde os lidt. Ambulancen kom ret hurtigt efter, og lægen undersøgte manden, og de kørte væk med ham. Og lægen kommer så ind til os i kaffestuen og skiller os ud, fordi vi havde... Øh, vi ikke havde prøvet at øve førstehjælp til ham, og vi skulle med det samme undersøge, om han var længe stiv, fordi så kunne det være, at man kunne redde ham. Det er vi ikke noget om, og vi blev ked af, at vi måske havde svigtet en, som, som oh kunne reddes. Senere der ringede lægen dog så efter nogle timer til os og undskyldte. De havde undersøgt ham og undersøgt sagen, og det viser sig, at det var en person, som det var den sidste aften, han skulle være i byen, så ville han rejse derfra, han ville holde. Og, han har derfor været sammen med sine venner øh, om aftenen før og drukket temmelig meget alkohol. Alligevel var han kørt hjem i sin lille bil og kører op på, på sådan et plateau, hvor der er parkeringsplads. Man kommer til at køre for langt frem i sin brænder der og ruser ned af børnenes kælkebak, og bilen sætter sig fast. Og så går han ud af bilen og falder. Og på grund af den stærke kulde, dårlig påklædning og hans dårlige konduktion, og hans meget høje alkoholprocent, så sagde lægen, der ville gå i 5-10 minutter, så ville han være bevidstløs, og kort wow. efter ville han dø. Så vi kunne ikke have gjort noget af alle omstændigheder. Det er en historie, jeg engang imellem tænker på, også selvom man sidder her i dag en sommerdag, og så tænker på, at dengang, der var det altså 40 grader koldere end det, jeg sidder i nu. Så øh, ja... Wait. Where did he? Oh, it's been a long day. I need to just lie down. I'm feeling dizzy. What a harrowing thing to go through. Um, hello? Is anyone there? Mum? Dad? Really wish I could hear from you right now. Oh, it's not connected. Well, I guess I am on a boat, but I just wanted to hear from someone. Hey, so many bottles. They look like they've got letters inside, like the one showing up in my house. Are these letters for me? Act 2. Something weird's going on. These dreams are messing with me. Oh shit. I just remembered about Hepe. Oh, I could really do with talking to someone. No network. Can't even check Instagram. This this is hard. Well I'm gonna leave this here because I've been playing for an hour. We've finished Act 1. This is phenomenal, but this is a good place to stop. I hope you are loving this as much as I am. This is honestly phenomenal very 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 happy about this this is everything i wanted it to be and that was that was such a gut punch and i love that they're all based on the real people's stories so i guess that's how this is going to go we're going to be put into situations scenarios go through something and then we're going to hear the real life story afterwards which is potentially going to get quite hard to deal with at some points so brace yourselves for that but this is this is fantastic i love everything about this so if you want to check this out for yourself then the link to the steam page is in the description thank you very much for watching if you've enjoyed this video then make sure you <laughs>
the like button, the mysterious message in a bottle that is the subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bad boy. And until next time, love you, bye.